Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Oscars Daily Challenge for March 5th, 2017. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, looks like some big names got some pretty solid scores after I finished my run. Copper scored an 820, Burning Ass Taco and Marvin scored a 700, and I can only attribute both of those scores to probably ship scan and getting a little bit lucky with slime. I didn't have too much trouble myself, I fortunately only took one damage from being stupid. Or, well, 10 damage from being stupid. But uh, those are very impressive scores. Congratulations, fellas. I scored a 650 for the fourth slot in the challenge. Following that is Echo Fig at 580, Ash White at 560 with a big cherry, Exergan 602 at 540, along with Squiggly J, and Dargard at 540 as well. So maybe I should learn how to read. Overall, 46 people played, which again is a tremendous score. Fantastic. I love it. And I, not to look a gift course in the mouth, but I'm curious why all of a sudden there's a big pickup in the Daily Challenge. But again, I love it. I'm very happy about that. So let's go ahead and get into today's challenge. And see what we have. Stealth. Fantastic with reroute power. Not the perfect option, but a great one. There's also six degrees here. Two infestation types on the salvage bee. So I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit not worried. I'm a little bit, uh, my fingers are not steady. Seriously? Oh, actually. Seriously? I mean, seriously, seriously. Okay, that's good news. Kind of good news, at least. Okay, I've got leapers. And slime. That's great. Okay, well actually that means I don't have to worry about swarm. Double check that. Yep, okay, good. Safe on swarm. Um
very bad place to be. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Come on! All right. Okay. We got six minutes before this whole place is just taken up. Took 70 damage from that. Well, the good news is we've got a lot of scrap in here. And that is every time I'm talking about you're gonna lose a lot of health if you're not aware of drone of slime hitting a drone on a generator that is exactly what I'm talking about because it takes you a moment to figure out what is happening and then you have to react to it and you're probably in the middle of doing something else uh, it's not even about skill it's simply about a reaction time and interference Unfortunately, that means I can't check R9, and I really can't check R6. And... Yeah, there's nothing else I can really do. I've got another interface, but that's not really useful. Um, I'd like to check R9, and I probably should have just opened the door beforehand, but that could have been worse as well if there had been a... Oh, awesome. This ship just does not like it me today, and I'm, I would assume that it doesn't like anyone, so, you know, there's that. Okay, well, that's definitely going to be it. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Short ship today. Total score of 735. I could have had an 805 if I hadn't taken the damage on Wally, but I did not give that option, and as I said not too long before the slime hit, R7 is the dangerous room. 10 scrap. No fuel. Uh, that actually would have been an R9. And starting score of... Wow, that's a huge score. Let's see. Starting score of 350, so 580? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Picked up one drone upgrade, and that is it on the ship today. Yeah, not surprised that I didn't get a, uh, a leaderboard score there. Um... Or not a leader. I've got a leaderboard score, but not a, not the top score. Let's see. I could have had an 805, which means there's at least one more scrap. Two, three scrap. Four scrap minimum. Because I think you take four damage per radiation hit. Which means Dano could have taken 16, three radiation hits for 12 damage and had a score of 875 which probably would have meant that he took some slime damage could have had an 885 maybe and Girthar probably took some slime damage had an 865 so there's definitely some scrap left on that ship which again unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that I couldn't get in the room from the one door, and the other door became slime infested. Uh, if I had taken any longer, the best option that I would have been able to do is to just suffer the damage. Actually, maybe I should have just backed away from it and tried to check that room quickly, check the uh, the other room. But if it had been exposed, if it, if there had been a swarm, or not a swarm, if there had been a leaper in there, or slime blocking the door, that would have been worse. I would have lost the drone. So, I stand by what I did. Overall, overall high scores, um, 13 people have played, and it looks like 8 have a positive score. Actually, five, 550 was my starting score, uh, so 
You're trolling me now, aren't you? Someone is trolling me. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. That's just a lot of random letters slapped on the keyboard. But with a score of 555, that's a very barely positive score. And after that, it just goes down, which happens. On a ship like this, you've got Slime, you've got Leapers. Leapers do a lot of damage in just one hit. And... The slime can cut you off and keep you from escaping very easily. Even on three, even with three airlocks, those generators were not favorably uh, positioned. So, if you haven't done your run yet, good luck. Though I do recommend doing blind run without a leaderboard or without looking at videos beforehand. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed it, and uh, I think it's a much more pure Duskers experience. And compare the results afterward. If you have finished your run. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear of your own experiences on this ship. It's a small ship, but has a very specific challenge with those two very short-range generators. Reroute power, which will very barely help. And the one large generator that is very, very risky to access given slime. If you enjoyed the video, do please like, and have a good day.